Uh, a pretty wild thing happened on February 13th, 2024. The Orlando Magic played their first nationally televised game since the 2020 bubble. Wild. <laughs> For the wild. uninitiated, a quick recap on this year's Magic. Uh, they're good. Head coach Jamal Mosley, one of the favorites for the Coach of the Year award this season, uh, currently in fifth in the East and still a, they're a game up on the seven seeded Sixers. Projection models still give them anywhere from like a 60 to 80 percent chance of finishing top six, making the playoffs proper, avoiding the play in. And they've got a guy who is the reigning rookie of the year. He's improved just about every per game average from last year. He made his first all star team. Uh, we're talking about pa uh, Paolo Boncaro here and. Imagine you have to describe Paolo Boncaro, the basketball player. Where is your first sort of point of comparison in doing so? I think that Blake Griffin is a wonderful comp for Paolo Boncaro. Felt that when he was at Duke. Um, and a lot of that is just his size and his skill. He, for my taste, he settles for a little too many jumpers. Sure. Um, but his passing, his dribbling, his vision... Um, his physical, just sheer power reminds me a lot of Blake Griffin. And I know that you, you, you see the same, same sort of thing, right? Yeah. The game reminds me of sort of like Pistons era Blake, where he'd sort of developed his skills and his craft and moved a little bit more toward the perimeter after some of his injuries. But the, the, just like the phys the sheer physicality and force that he plays with does feel a little bit like young Blake. Remember that it was that 2015 playoffs for Blake. In that postseason, Blake averaged 25.5 points, just under 13 rebounds, seven assists, a steal and a block per game on 51% shooting. I remember thinking very vividly, like, this is probably about as close as we get to LeBron outside of LeBron. When you see Bancaro at his best, that's kind of the same picture I have in my brain. Statistically, when you look at Paolo Bancaro through two seasons, what are the comps? And so what I did at the glorious website that is stathead.com, I found Paolo Bancaro's points per 100 possessions, rebounds, and assist rates, um, which is 30 points, about 9.8 rebounds, and 6.6 .6 assists, so 39 and 6. Here are the eight names that, that cross that Paolo Bancaro threshold. You ready for this? Let's hear it. All right. LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Luka Doncic, Wemby, LaMelo Ball, Vince Carter, Mark Aguirre, in addition to another former Piston, Blake Griffin. You mm. nailed it, Dan. Blake Griffin is also in that category of points, yes. rebounds, and assists. Uh, statistically, it is a very fair comp for Paolo Bancaro.